Hi, I'm Sebastian Link, and I'm presenting joint work today with my students um, on possibilistic Armstrong databases. Um, so, so this is part of bigger work where we apply possibility theory for schema design of, of uncertain data. And we're trying to develop computational support for the acquisition of possibilistic functional dependencies that serve as meaningful input to, to the schema design process. This can be done in two ways, either by mining constraints from data, and then of course, putting a human in the loop to check uh, the meaningfulness of them, or to do iterative example-based acquisition based on these Armstrong relations. So it's the letter what, what that, that, that is this work basically. So this is really about the validation of integrity requirements for, for uncertain data. Um, so suppose uh, you have different data sources with different levels of, of, of trust associated to them, for example, from, from different websites with different authority. And now we want to integrate these uh, data. Um, and the way uh, we then assign these P degrees, possibility degrees, uh, which form a linear chain from low, moderate to good, which is not in here, to high, um, is that we look at tuples and we assign the highest level of trust based on the, the highest trusted source. So in this case, it would be moderate in there. Um, then we could have different uh, business rules so that we could get, for example, by, by mining the relation. So we could look at all the data in there and, and there we have the functional dependency that the manager and time together satisfies, uh, determines the room. So this holds on all the data uh, independently of their uh, possibility degree. But if we only look at data with uh, which is moderately trusted, at least moderately trusted, so these ones in here, then we have room time determines the project. Um, for good, uh, for at least good data, we have, we have these ones in here. Um, so then suppose we have a new business rule where the project determines the manager on, on only highly trusted data, then uh, uh, this would be the highly trusted data, but then this rule here is, is actually violated um, because uh, we have different managers associated uh, with the same project uh, for highly trusted data. So here to revise that, we could change the degree from, from, from high to good. And then uh, we want to apply schema design, but we can now apply schema design to, to different, um, different trusted data. So if we want to normalize only data that's highly trusted, then all these rules apply to this, this data. So in particular, this value here, Pete, is redundant. Um, and then we apply typical normalization to all these standard FDs independently of their possibility of their certainty degree in here. And we would get this boy got normal form schema, for example. But if we wanted to normalize, um, let's say, all the data that is at least moderately trusted, um, then only the first two rules hold in here for this kind of data this uh, value here would be redundant, for example, and then we could transform uh, based on these two rules, different schema design for that kind of data. Um, so, so we really, it really depends on, on, on these different uh, certainty degrees that we attach with the functional dependencies that then apply to different uh, trusted levels of data. Um, so here, possibilistic Armstrong relation is really a, a perfect sample um, over a given schema with these possibility degrees. Um, that's perfect in the sense that it satisfies exactly those possibilistic functional dependencies that are implied by the given set. So it really allows us to, to validate um, the rules based on examples. So this is our running example with these different certainty degrees that we've seen before. Beta one is the highest, beta four is the lowest, only applies to highly trusted data, the last one. And then this would generate this possibilistic Armstrong relation. And if we look in here, the project um, does not determine the manager on at least um, tuples with possibility degree alpha one or alpha two. But if we wanted that rule to hold um, for, for such data, so at least to level alpha two, then um, the, the real rule should apply at least with certainty degree beta three in here. So it allows us to, to validate um, the, these rules. So if we wanted to compute these relations automatically, then the notion of a maximal set for a standard set of FDs uh, is really important. And those are the subsets of the given relation schema uh, that are maximal with the property that they do not functionally determine a given attribute A. Um, so as classically, we would then introduce tuples that realize these maximal sets. So that means we, we introduce tuple pairs 
that have matching values on exactly the maximal sets and different values on those attributes that are not part of the maximal sets. And then depending on the available uh, possibility degrees from one to K, we compute these maximal sets here for, for the different sets of, of these cuts um, and then uh, assign the, the possibility degrees essentially uh, backwards. And this returns a P Armstrong relation for an arbitrary input set of possibilistic functional dependencies, because every maximal set in sigma i is actually an agree set in this uh, kind of relation. So, for example, if i equals uh, uh, k in here, then 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 this would only be highly trusted data in there. So, if we compute these maximal sets like we did in here, so sigma four, sigma four minus three, and so on. Um, we would then uh, create the relation. So we start with an arbitrary alpha one tuple and then on MR, so on manager and room, we have the same values and different values elsewhere. So we do this for all these sets in here until we come to uh, one uh, that, that's in the, in the next relation. So then we start with alpha two tuples in here. Again, matching values only on P and R different values elsewhere in comparison to the previous tuple. And then we continue with this, assigning the possibility degrees. Now suitable substitutions exactly lead, lead to this relation over here that was given in the start. So this is how the computation works. Um, so we, we generated these relations sort of um, on average and, and to a high degree with different levels of numbers of attributes and underlying relation schema and different numbers of available possibility degrees in here. So from, from k equals one to k equals 10. And if we, if we fix um, each number of available possibility degrees, then uh, the, the, the output size and the times uh, are both low degree polynomial in, in the number of, of the given attributes. And this is the same average behavior as exhibited for, for, for certain data in there. But if we fix the schema size and, and we now vary the number of available possibility degrees, you can see some interesting behavior in here. So it's in fact sort of, it's a, it's a logarithmic output size and, and basically constant time in K. So the reason it's, it's logarithmic, uh, it's because there's a significant number of maximal sets that's already realized by, by small K in here. And the computation time is agnostic to, to the number of available possibility degrees since each functional dependency is, is exactly visited once. So that's, that's independent of, of the K. So we've got a tool, um, that computes these relations in here. So this is for, for standard relations. And then if you want possibilistic relations, you can here introduce your maximum levels of degrees of, of, of certainty in here. And, and then it would generate these relations automatically as, as exhibited on the running example in here. Um, so as a summary, so these Armstrong, possibilistic Armstrong relations are really perfect samples. So they exhibit the possibilistic functional dependencies exactly to the highest certainty degree by which they are implied from a given input set that we want to validate. Um, we offer computational support for identifying meaningful possibilistic functional dependencies that then serve as an input to schema design processes for uncertain data. Uh, on average, the sizes of the samples grow logarithmically in the number of available um, uncertainty degrees and the computation times for the samples is constant in the number of these available degrees. Um, for future work, we want to combine the sampling with the discovery uh, algorithms to identify dirty data, but also the meaningful rules, so in, in, in unison. Um, and we also wonder how uh, human experts can best benefit from, from the computational support as well. Um, so here's some of the literature that, that I've mentioned on the way in terms of data cleaning and, and the schema. Uh, design algorithms essentially. And if you have more questions, um, please contact me. Uh, thank you very much.